Hi, it's Richard from EnvisionSelfHealing.com, and this is my blog on the 10th day of my juice fast. Uh, this is my refrigerator. I came from Whole Foods the other day. Yeah, greens, carrots, um, grapefruit. Parsnips were very good. They add some flavor. Okay, 10 day juice fast. Well, how did it go? So I started out the Saturday before the Super Bowl uh, because on Friday night I had an allergic reaction at a restaurant I was at and to food, which I've been having allergic reactions to food for, God, 20 years now. I uh, still don't quite know what caused it. It's possible I was working around a lot of chemicals. I was almost drinking a ton of coffee and working in a toxic environment, basically. I became sensitive to caffeine first, then dairy products. Then when I switched to like soy products to substitute for dairy, I became allergic to soy products. So my main problem going out is there's all these hidden oils and butters and stuff like that. And then I come home and I have an allergic reaction. I have to take Benadryl. So it was an impromptu decision to do a juice fast uh, uh, 10 days ago. And the Super Bowl was the next day. I didn't think this through. So I had a Super Bowl laying on the couch feeling really wiped out and sleeping through quite a bit of it. Uh, so the first few days were uh, low energy, um, but I was not hungry. This is the interesting thing for me is I would never got hungry. Uh, I never had headaches the way I expected to have. Uh, so in the beginning I had this sort of slow, sleeping some more. <laughs> And then in the middle, maybe by day four, day five, I started to feel pretty good. And it seemed like this shot of nutrients from the vegetables was really giving me a lot of energy. Uh, Will, my uh, co-creator of Envision Self Healing, had done a juice fast, so he was coaching me through this. And he said, be sure not to just do fruit juices or you'll feel pretty bad. So I was doing fruit juices in the morning and then switching to vegetable juices in the afternoon and evening. Vegetable nutrients was keeping me going and in fact giving me energy by the middle of the, of the juice fast. I woke up in a tremendous, fantastic mood, feeling really good. Uh, in fact, I had worked the night before on our website uh, till like 11 o'clock. I had all this energy. Woke up on day six feeling fantastic. But then, <laughs> by Thursday night, I couldn't sleep. I had so much energy at that point, I couldn't sleep. So this started a pattern of lots of energy but no sleep for, it's just beginning to, on day 10, I'm, I finally got a little more sleep last night. I lost uh, seven pounds uh, in 10 days. And the interesting thing in terms of my eyes, uh, if you don't know, uh, I have optic atrophy, uh, and that was one of the reasons, other reasons I did the juice fast was to try and get some improvement in my, in my optic atrophy. The two uh, things that I began to notice is I was seeing a little clearer. Yesterday I was walking down the street and noticing details, moving around and noticing a little more clarity in my vision, and that happens with me uh, because optic atrophy is related to blood flow to the optic nerve, when I can get better blood flow to the optic nerve, I actually see better. I know ophthalmologists probably would not believe that, but it's been my experience. So I was starting to see a little clearer. And the other interesting thing is when I palmed, I was noticing that I was getting a deeper black, uh, less spotted, less sort of consistently dark all the way through. Um, so those are the two things how it's affected my eyes. Um, yeah, so I think it has worked. Uh, I've yet to test the food allergies. That'll be coming up uh, when I start eating again. Uh, I'm going to start out slow and see if I get those reactions again. The theory behind the food allergies and juice fasting is that you have all sorts of toxins in your intestinal system and that uh, by doing the juice fast, especially Oh, right, towards the last four or five days, all that stuff comes out. Shall we not say any more about that? But you're, you're basically detoxing the uh, sort of coating in the intestine 
that's been built up, kind of cleaning all that out. And that that coating in the intestine is the thing that's causing the irritation and uh, causing the problems for food allergies. That's the theory behind it. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping will happen for me. I, de I definitely went through a detox phase uh, after, so I had the sleepless phase that then turned into the detox phase. So, um, the other interesting thing that did happen at that, when I was going through detox, it felt like I was going through a mental detox at the same time. There was like, oh, I don't want to go into too much detail, but there was an issue I was dealing with. And just at the moment when I was dealing with the physical detox, I was also dealing with this sort of mental detox. Sort of gives credence to the whole body-mind connection and how they're, you know, if you're working on one, you're, you're helping the other, and um, it makes sense to me. But I definitely went through a pretty uh, bad day there, both physically and mentally, and then it kind of broke yesterday afternoon, actually, on day nine and feeling pretty good today, and my sleep started to come back. So, for what it's worth, that's been my uh, juice fast experience. One of the things that Will, uh, my co-creator on the website, and I have been working on over the last well, month or so, uh, is an ebook uh, called uh, Modern Day Guide for Improving Eyesight. And how it came about was um, we were, um, on the website, you'll see we've, uh, we organized the website so that if you have a particular condition like glaucoma or macular degeneration or any of those uh, standard eye conditions, and we have some body conditions like arthritis as well, uh, you go to the website, you click on your condition, it gives you a program. At first, it educates you on your condition. Uh, we have a learn, create, integrate uh, three-tab system. So you learn about your condition, you create a program using our eye exercise, um, using our eye exercises and body exercises actually, and mind exercises. So you create a program of those exercises, then you integrate those exercises into your life, and we have tips on doing that. So that was the the basis of the website. One of the things we recently realized is we kind of needed to have a document that addressed um, everyone's vision, or kind of like the human vision, um, and how it has been uh, deteriorated, shall we say, in our modern life. Um, so we wrote this document. At, uh, it was an interesting process, because we at first... Uh, we started comparing modern life to where our eyes were developed to be used, meaning um, early human existence, gathering, uh, hunting, gathering, uh, that lifestyle. And we started to compare it to how we are doing things today. And realizing that uh, a lot of our problems with our vision stem from uh, the fact that we're using our eyes in a ways they were never designed to be used. Starting out with reading, uh, I know that's hard to hear from uh, most of us really love to read and value reading and the culture, all of those things. But if you think about it, it was our eyes were not evolved, or whatever you want to call it, to read, basically. There's, uh, reading is a very focused on the central vision, um, if you're concentrating, you don't blink very much. There's a lot of issues with reading that uh, are not natural to the eye. And uh, so that was the... We, we wanted to create this document that addressed everyone's vision. And for someone who didn't have a particular condition but wanted to improve their vision, that was the other purpose of this document. So we took the tack of how's modern life uh, treating our vision, basically, and how does it compare with uh, primitive man's use of vision? And then we thought, okay, well, how could we take tips from primitive human life, uh, tips in terms of how they use their vision, and apply it to modern life to try and, some ways, bring back that primitive life to our modern lifestyle? So that was the conceptual basis of the book. We At first we called it... Uh, 
caveman's guide, we called it a caveman's guide to, for improving eyesight. Then we thought, well, it's really about uh, a modern day person's guide, so that's why we changed to a modern day guide. The other thing we've been doing is we, in order to make it more fun, we created a character called Caveman Dave, who represents the lifestyle of uh, primitive man. And uh, for a while we had Caveman Dave did everything right, and we did everything wrong. And that seemed a little depressing for our own life, so uh, we created a, another character called Modern Day Mike. And Modern Day Mike does do everything wrong, I have to admit, visually. He stares at a computer all day, looks at his cell phone, he comes home and he watches TV, uh, maybe he reads, uh, uses his eyes in a very modern day way, which none of us tend to think of as being inherently bad for our eyes, but ultimately it is. So, um, so now the document has Caveman Dave versus Modern Day Mike, and uh, it kind of takes away some of the seriousness of it, we hope. The other thing that's different about this ebook is from our regular exercise programs is we tend to not emphasize formal eye exercises. We emphasize, okay, use your eyes the way they were intended to be used. So, for instance, um, the first thing we talk about is, uh, is blinking. So we say, you know, just blink more. That would be a way, here I'm blinking more, that would be a way of using your eyes the way they were intended rather than staring at, at your computer screen intently and not blinking your eyes. That's the way they were not intended to be used. And if you were out in the wild and there was sun and everything and you're moving around, you would undoubtedly blink your eyes in a more normal fashion. Oh, the other way we organize the book is anatomically from front to back. So the first uh, we call it, tip, set of tips is about blinking, which relates to the eyelid. And then we work our way back in the eyes. The next tips relate to uh, actually the extraocular muscles, which are the muscles around the eyeball. And then the next tips represent uh, talk about the it's called the sclera, which is really the white of the eye, and actually the cornea, the clear part on the front as well. So we work our way back through the eye all the way to the brain ultimately, um, and are telling you how you can use your eye in a more natural way, essentially, or like Caveman Dave would have used his eyes. Uh, and in that sense, counter, counteract some of the uh, harm we're doing to our eyes uh, using our modern technologies. That's the new ebook. We're very proud of it. Uh, go uh, download it if you would like. And uh, so tomorrow I get to start eating again. That'll be very exciting. Uh, oh, I get to eat those eggs in my refrigerator, and uh, I have some fruit lined up, so I have some mangoes I'm looking forward to eating, maybe some soup in the afternoon, and generally feeling pretty good. I'm hoping I'm going to start sleeping a little more, um, and getting back to a little more normal life, and <laughs> see if I can keep this weight off, which I think I can, because the good thing about the juice fast, it sort of resets your... It resets your appetite, your cravings. Like, I have no cravings right now for anything. I do when I walk along the street and smell stuff. That, that's the hardest part. But I still don't feel like I, I jump and go do it. You know, I could jump and go buy a donut or something like that. I just sort of notice things as I'm walking by. But the Juice Fast does reset your cravings, your appetite, um, cleans out your system. So we shall see how my appetite runs. I'm hoping to do... Uh, I, my diet was pretty good to begin with, but um, I'm hoping to clean it up even a little bit more. Oh, the last thing it did... One of the ingredients I did put in the juice fast that directly helped my optic nerve, I think, were beets. And I'm really sick of beets after a while because I was putting a lot of them in. Uh, so beets have the ability to... It's ironic, they're red, isn't it? have the ability to increase blood flow. So I did a lot of beats in order to increase blood flow to my optic nerve. Anyway, so there we go. Juice fast this week, uh, ten day, last 10 days. It's be over tomorrow. Uh, the ebook, we're very proud of that. So give it a gander and see for yourself.